So the purpose of this video is to maybe give you some other ideas on how to analyze stuff. Um, a lot of people, you know, like with oscilloscopes, they focus on uh, if, if you want to look at the spectrum of a waveform, um, you know, you have to get a very high-powered, expensive oscilloscope with a really good FFT. And the purpose of this is to kind of get you to think a little bit outside of that box to, you know, maybe there's some other ways to analyze stuff that doesn't always require expensive equipment. So what I'm going to do here is look at an aspect of my oscilloscope, and this is a very popular and wonderful, in my view, oscilloscope, the Rigol DS1054Z. Uh, very inexpensive, very full-featured, uh, it's about $400, I believe. Excellent um, oscilloscope. But one of the, the issues people have with this scope is the fan noise, okay? In the back here, there's a fan, and it uh, is a bit noisy when you're in a quiet room. Um, I've got three desktop computers and this is pretty much the loudest thing among all the computers. So it can get a bit annoying and the problem is it gives off a, a bit of a high-pitched whine. And I don't know if you can hear it, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to analyze that signal and instead of using the FFT on my scope, I'm going to use a free piece of software on my computer to analyze it and see if we can figure out exactly what's going on, or at least get a picture of what that noise is. Okay, so what I've done is I recorded the sound of the uh, DS1054Z fan. I just put a microphone right next to the fan and recorded it. Now you can do that in many different ways. Um, I use my uh, recording microphone. You can use your smartphone any way you want. But I basically recorded the sound as a waveform. And what I've done is I've brought that waveform into a free software that I've talked about before called Audacity. Audacity you can get for free. It is an absolutely wonderful audio uh, waveform analyzing you can add effects. You can do all kinds of stuff with waveforms. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to see what frequency components are in the waveform to kind of characterize what that noise is coming out of the fan. So here you can see I'm in Audacity, and I've got stereo, two tracks, left and right stereo tracks, with the sound I recorded. So I'm going to play the sound. And you can see it's kind of loud and annoying, but it's got that kind of a high-pitched hum. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to, uh, first of all, I wanted to make it longer. It's only a couple seconds. So I went through and um, I basically duplicated this waveform a few more times, just added it on to itself, and came out with this, which is the same waveform, but now it lasts for six seconds, okay? So it's just, I just duplicated it three times. So now I've got the waveform, I, I've killed the other one, so what I want to do is go in here, split stereo track, so I've got this uh, other one, I can just delete it, so now I've got a single mono track of the sound from the um, oscilloscope. Okay, so you can see it's annoying and it's got that high-pitched hum. So now what I can do is I can go up here to Tools and I can go into, I'm sorry, go into Analyze, Plot Spectrum. Um, first I need to select the waveform, so I've select the entire thing by hitting Control A. So Analyze, Plot Spectrum, and here you've got a frequency analysis of that waveform. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so it goes from 1 hertz. It's a logarithmic scale. And here's um, minus 13 dB, and it gets down here. Starting 1 hertz, going over to 20 kilohertz over here somewhere. And you can see here's 10 hertz. Right here, it's got a peak at 10 hertz, which is some... Um, 
low frequency noise, but that's not really what's bothering us. If you go down here, you can see right around 400 hertz, there's a peak. And that is pretty much, I think, that kind of high-pitched uh, noise that is so bothersome. And there's also a peak here around a little over 100 hertz. So I'm going to focus on this 400 hertz. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another track, an, a mono track, and I am going to insert in it a 400 hertz sine wave. So I'm going to generate a tone of 400 hertz. You can see 400 hertz. And insert that there. And now I've got a 400 hertz tone. And I can listen and see if that makes sense. So I'm going to go down here, click solo, and play. And you can see it's kind of matching what we hear from the scope, OK? It's kind of this high-pitched hum um, that's bothering us from the scope. And now let's look, listen to the scope. You can see it's kind of similar. So what we can tell from this is there's some, you know, around 400 hertz high-pitched hum um, that is causing the problem. Now, the question is, what are we going to do about it? Now, some people um, go to the trouble of replacing the fan with a um, low noise fan. There's questions about whether that really helps too much. Um, in order to do that, you need to void the warranty, you know, remove the sticker, void the warranty. Uh, it's quite a bit of work. You've got to find the right fan, the right dimensions, everything. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to live with it. It's unfortunate we can't generate like a counter frequency um, negative signal kind of negates this, but I don't know. But anyway, so that's, um, you know, basically that's the point of this video, just to show that there's ways to analyze. If you step out of um, your area and you look in other software, there's, there's some nice ways to analyze stuff. You don't need to always run to your oscilloscope and get a very expensive scope. You may be able to do it on your computer using these um, free software. So anyway, um, hope that helps. Take care and have a really good day. Thanks.